guys is you know welcome back or no welcome to uh, the first episode of season one not the pilot season one of UU campaign um, this will probably be going up on Friday in place of a showdown live um, just because I ran out of time this week but I'm hoping to have these up every single Thursday for you guys which I think will be pretty fun we'll see how long we can keep the series going um, should supplement uh, uploads and all that stuff so if you guys wanted more of me for whatever strange reason you're gonna get it um, I went ahead and built the team ahead of time just cuz like uh, I was like chatting with one of my friends I was like texting him and I, I couldn't record because I was texting him so I was like you know I'll just make the team now went ahead and did that um, we have sweet coon here which is standard dot crow coon uh, we have curse lax which is standard dot curse lax and then we have spadef knot because um, spadef knot's pretty cool sets up spikes helps wear down stuff and also low ladder like struggles like hell against these two mons so it's gonna be hopefully pretty fun we're gonna go ahead and grab a match which should not take long because we are at the bottom of the ladder starting on a fresh account um but you know we shall s like why is it not connecting like there has to be some low ladder player playing uu what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna cancel and look for battle again because i want to get somebody on the very bottom of the ladder who i can beat okay so we get mexican yoshi 64 looking at the name that's an auto win um actually probably not okay yeah Okay, this is looking like a game I can win, because, like, to be completely honest, like, what does he have for this? The answer is nothing. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and lead at Chestnut, just to go ahead and get some spikes up, because my team doesn't care about speed at all, which is one thing that I kind of wanted to design a lot of the team around. Um, if I do win, I may end up picking up Crocodile, just because it does give me a pretty nice psychic immunity. He oh. <laughs> looking like a snack wrap though uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and get some spikes up because I actually do not care about this thing because especially since it's at level 50 like there's actually no stops to uh, the Snorlax here so looking like I'll be able to pick up a quick win versus the low ladder uh, more than likely add crook because it gives me a scarfer um, he just goes ahead mega evolves gets up a calm mind it's not bro this is not actually an issue I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get some seeds up because he's gonna want to leave this thing in uh, you know, like, any health I can get back, you know, more the merrier, I suppose. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and put the timer on this man, because this is low ladder. Um, we, we getting souls. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and get up another spike, and then go out to Stormlax, just because I don't want him to, re to reveal, like, I don't know, Psy Shock or whatever. I don't think this gets that. Um, so he just goes to the Draining Kiss. Alright. Never mind, I can get my last spike. <laughs> Super effective draining kiss did 13% to Spadef Knot. So look at that, eating that up like a champ. I should post this on the viability thread and be like, Chestnut needs a rise. Um, it just took on a Mega Autono 1v1. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm gonna go out into Snorlax right here and uh, just just start cursing away because he actually has zero stops to this right now. Um, that did 5%. That is lefties. Um, so yeah, looking like pretty much a snack wrap right here. Um, honestly though, it would be kind of nice to bring Gudra back. Just because Gudra is a really sick mod to have, um, gives us a lot of special bulk. Um, yeah, he just ends up forfeiting. So that's nice. We end up getting that one out of the way. Um, so now we have a choice. We could go ahead and slap a Mega on the team, but we already have two setup sweepers, so I don't think we need that. Um, we get out of Arcanine as a physically defensive option to take on stuff like Crobat. Don't really think we need that either. Uh, Life, Life Orb Galvantula would be pretty sick, um, because it just hits really hard. Not really hard, but, um, Politoed is definitely no. Kudra is... I, I'm just gonna go Crocodile, so we're gonna jump into the team builder right now. Uh, where's the thing that I want? You campaign season one, there it is. Uh, and the reason I'm gonna have this is because I want kind of a cleaner in case uh, my stuff goes downhill. So I'm gonna add Moxie with the knock. Um, I don't really need Pursuit on this team at all. Um, knock off, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Super Power. That is not what I meant to do. Super Power, can we get that please? Thanks. All right, just for other crooks. So looking like a pretty solid squad right now. We're gonna go ahead and grab another battle. Uh, we end up getting one versus mm -hmm. um, which actually sounds like a relatively competent name. Cause like usually, oh wow, this could be an issue. Uh, Cause I can't actually sweep with uh, sweep Snorlax to late. Um, I'm gonna have to PP stall 
that thing, which is always a super fun adventure. Although, looking like Crook uh, can actually do some work this game, because if I manage to get that out of the way, things are going to be taking earthquakes, and they're not going to be appreciating them. I'm going to go and lead with a Chestnut, because if he does lead with... Um, if he does lead with Absol, I'm not actually too concerned. Um, he ends up leading with Hydreigon. I can take any hit this thing wants to go for, just fire back a Drain Punch if I really want to. Although I think I'm going to get a Spike. Um, although it is relatively important to preserve the mods that I do have, I really don't feel like he's staying in right here. Unless he Specs, which would suck. But <laughs> I really don't think he Specs. Um, that did nothing. Destroyed. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get some seeds up right here on the switch, um, just because I really lose nothing by it. Um, if he goes out into Absol, I get more HP back and I can knock him out with the Drain Punch on the next turn. Um, if he goes into Jolteon for whatever unspeakable reason, which like, you know, I could kind of see right here, uh, then I'm just getting some HP back for free. Um, Dewblade is not an issue at all, I get spikes up for free against uh, that, and you know, this beats Absol relatively well. because. Play rough is going to hurt because I'm spadef, but Chestnut does have some pretty nice uh, natural bulk, which will allow me to take pretty much anything. He goes that into his Machamp right here, as I do not miss the Leech Seed. Um, we're about to scout his set right here, even though like it's not going to matter. <laughs> but you know, anytime you can get like an extra 25% off on your opponent, that's always very nice. So honestly, I feel like Chestnut was a very, very good initial add for me, um, because Chestnut can take on a lot of stuff 1v1 and honestly like kind of the goal I was thinking with these three mods like my initial three mods look at that take an extra 13% about to get some more HP back it's almost like it's too easy um, the initial goal was to get up hazards and stuff just stall out some mods and then uh, coming up with a fat setup sweeper that they can't beat which was the goal uh, looking looks like it's working pretty well I'm just gonna go and get up a spike here because uh, I don't really lose anything by it that did a lot though I do not like that. I end up getting up another spike, which I guess is nice, um, because if I do get another spiky shield here, he will go down at the end of the next turn. Um, I just need one spiky shield out of like the next two tries. I'm not sure if this will do... No, this may do 20% to me in confusion, although I kind of doubt it. Um, so we're just going to go for the spiky shield as he goes out in a dewblade, as I do not hurt myself in confusion. I get off more seeds, and honestly, I do not care about this dewblade at all right now. Um, because he's either giving me a free plus one, like, a free plus one, because I can weaken this thing to the point where I can kill it with knockoff, and Shadow Sneak really isn't going to hurt me that much, um, or, in pl plus it's going to take a lot for him to break through the, my three physical wall, like, basically three physical walls, so I'm going to go ahead and get up another spike right here, when he starts attacking, I'll spiky shield, um... So yeah, honestly, I'm, I feel really good about this situation right here. He ends up SDing again, and I'm just getting HP back for free. It's really not that much of a problem. Um, I'm going to go for the spiky shield right here, just because I really lose nothing by it. Um, if I do play some mind games correctly, I think I can uh, win 1v1 versus thing. I do end up hitting that, or getting that correct, rather. Um, so I'm going to go for the drain punch right here, or should I go for double spiky shield? Um, Alright, I'm going to go for Spiky Shield again, just because I don't lose anything by going for it again. Um, his ideal play, uh, yeah, fails, but ends up going for the Shadow Claw, which does a lot, actually. Um, but if, I'm not even sure, <laughs> Sneak probably won't be able to, Sneak will not be able to knock me out from here. So I can Spiky Shield again, I don't lose anything by it. Um, and looking like Chestnut is going to pick up a kill, putting the entire team on his back right now. Um, so can I get the double? If I can get the double, that'd be pretty sick. I'm not even going to lie. Um, can we get it? Come on, RNG. I know it's a 25% chance, but donnez-moi. Look at that. They don't call me legend for nothing, man. Uh, so I end up knocking him out right there. Chestnut got all three layers of spikes up, stalled out one member of his team, his Machamp. Um will die if I uh, get some seeds up versus it. Uh, Hydreigon can't knock me out from this range. I like Maybe his Absol with play rough, um, but going into Absol and clicking play rough is honestly a really bad play for him. Um, but once I get this thing out of the way, uh, looking like Snorlax can sweep. So he goes into this. I'm just going to click Drain Punch. I don't lose anything by it. I don't really need to get up seeds right here. 
Um, and this is looking like Scarf Hydreigon. If he does reveal the Fire Blast, then it's like, you're pretty much asking for Snorlax to just step right in here and end the game. Um, he does go for the Fire Blast, which is a little bit unfortunate. I do live, though. He does not burn me. And that is going to do a lot to his Hydreigon right here. Um, wait, do I just clean him with plus one? No. This needs to switch in a couple of times in order for that to happen. Um, I'm going to go for the Drain Punch. If he misses Fire Blast, then use Flamethrower. <laughs> Actually, D-Trainer and I were talking about that yesterday. That's kind of a dumb thing where it's like, oh yeah, we'll just use Flamethrower. Because, like, that's not how that works. But, okay, up to you, man. Um, knockoff should kill this. And even so, like, as long as he doesn't burn me with Fire Blast, it's cool. Um, looking at his team, though, and what mons I may want to add. I could go fat, like really fat, and uh, add Dewblade, because it gives me like perfect fighting check. Still have no way to deal with hazards, um, but it also gives me a second psychic resist. Ground types are not a problem right now. It gives me a grass resist, so honestly Dewblade's looking pretty fresh, because um, I already have a dark type. Um, may add Machamp though. Machamp looks kind of promising, but we'll see. I'm clicking knockoff right here. Um, he doesn't have a switch in. Vaporeon, that was not the mon I think you want to go out into. Actually, that'll take you relatively well. That was a good play. Um, but that just invites Snorlax in, to be completely honest. Um, I can get up a curse and start body slam and stuff, uh, which will be very, very nice for me. Um, Absol will have to SD alongside to win. Um, and plus, I still have this thing, which can come in and revenge Absol. So he ends up going for the Scald right here. Does not get the burn, which is very nice for me. So I can just go straight away for the curse. Um... He's kind of forced to wish up right here, or else he is, like, extremely pressured for Suicune later, which he doesn't do, which, it, like, surprises me a lot. Um, I'm going to go for the rest, though, just because I really don't, like, I don't lose anything by it. And that's the great thing about, like, running two very bulky setup sweepers is that you can just crush a lot of the ladder um, by doing so. And ho I'm hoping this live will be about 30 minutes. Um, it is actually like 10:15 on a Wednesday when I'm recording this, just because you know sometimes stuff happens. He's gonna go out into Machamp. This dude. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to switch out into more than likely Suicune right here, which really isn't an issue, because um, I can just pull a couple of doubles and Vaporeon dies to a knock after rocks or after spikes. Um, so I do get the rest off, which. It's going to suck that I'm going to lose my boosts, but it's like, why risk this at all? <laughs> um, when, oh, I could make a play, too. I could make a play. I could go out in a Suicune, um, have him predict the water type attack, and go into Crook, and just straight up win. He goes for the Dynamic Punch. That's doing nothing, though. Uh, I get my lefties back. Alright, wait, so, so like, what's the pros and cons of me? Like, going into Crook right here is actually huge. Uh, super make or break play, but I'm not going to predict low ladder quite yet. We'll see what he decides to do. Um, I'm going to go for the CM, because I don't want him getting health back. Is he... Oh, never mind, he didn't forfeit. Uh, he goes for another dynamic punch, and that is doing nothing. Doing absolutely nothing. It's actually maybe better if I sack Suicune right here, because he does not have any more safe switch ins to this. Um... Except Hydra, will Hydra outspeed me? I, I'm, it's late, I'm messing up on my speed tiers. I, I, I didn't sleep yesterday. So, uh, Hydreigon will actually be able to uh, outspeed Crook and threaten me, which is a little troubling, but not too much. I'm gonna go for the Scald right here. Um, if he chooses now to go out into a Vaporeon, that's unfortunate. Uh, he goes into Jolteon, which was like, not the evolution to go to. Um, I end up getting the burn right there, which is kinda nice. Um, I can just go in a, I can pivot into Snorlax right here, act, like lose absolutely nothing, um, because Machamp can't come back in, that was a pretty bad play on his part, and uh, I'm going to eat that Thunderbolt, that's Specs definitely though, or maybe, nah, it's probably Specs, because Jolteon's weak, um, looking like he has nothing to take this on right here though, I'm just being completely honest, he goes out into Absol, um, I'm fine with sleep talking a turn, um, because we can kind of see what happens. Uh, if he SDs, I'm a little scared because I'm not actually sure I can live a plus. I, no, I can live a plus two sucker um, with Crook, right? Yeah, I can live. Um, you know, but but we'll see. We'll see what happens right here. Um, hopefully, I draw a uh, body slam and get some damage off. Para would be nice. So he goes for the knock. Um, if I get a curse here, that's also cool. 
um, I get a rest, which is like the, the one thing that I didn't talk about. So I'm just going to go straight away for another sleep talk. Uh, get off some damage right here and, you know, possibly put Absol in a very, very unfortunate position. We'll see. Um, if he sucker, he can't sucker right here because I'm sleep talking. Uh, knockoff won't kill me, so it's like I am throwing away Snorlax, which potentially wins me the game, but I think at this point Hydreigon just wins me the game. So he does that, which is like super questionable. Um, we'll knock off kill from this range. We're going to go ahead and calc this. Low ladder calcs. <laughs> Crocodile. Uh, my man, my man Crook, stole some cash. Um, you, you choice scarf. We're jolly, though. Uh, versus Absol. We need Mega Absol. You, you swords dance at minus one defense uh knock will not even come close to killing so we got to go for the eq or we can go for the superpower that's another play we can make um which is actually a pretty viable play um doesn't concern me too much going for the superpower because that will die that will die that will die and that will die so look at that um i can probably just spam superpower to victory if i really wanted to right here which is probably a thing that i'm going to end up doing um Oh, he could actually win. That's unfortunate. Uh, probably shouldn't have uh, thrown away Snorlax right there, but I didn't want him getting an SD for free, if that makes any sense. SD for free. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to go straight away for this uh, superpower right here. As he decides to go and do Machamp, which is a very, very good play on his part. Um, I, I wonder if Hydra can kill me with any one move. Because if it can, I'm if it cannot, I'm kind of inclined to stay in right here. Because um, he's clicking Draco. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and calc this. Um, hi Dragon, you you choice scarf. Draco will do a lot. <laughs> so if he's modest, not actually if he's modest, I'll outspeed him. So it's not that much of an issue. Um, my only issue is is Suicune sleeping. Suicune's not sleeping. I think I can take on. Absol, and if I have to speed the part up where I have to PP stall Vaporeon to death, then I will. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go straight away for the superpower, um, because you know he can't kill me with any one move unless he crits me. Ends up going for the U turn, something dies right here, friend. Um, and then I just go out into Suicune, maybe. Uh, please go into Vaporeon. He does. Oh my god, that's that's beautiful. That's choke of the century. That was actually a good play on his part, though, going for the U-turn. I uh, kind of didn't expect him to have that, but ends up working out for him. Because what I can do is I can just uh, Calm Mind on a switch to Absol, and probably go to sleep. Um, so I'm going to superpower right here. He has... Oh, I'm at minus one defense. It's okay, though. I, I, can, I, can, I can still win. I got this, man. Um, he goes into Absol, which is not a problem. Um, I just rest right here. This knockoff will not do 50%. I'm assuming he's Knock Sucker. Uh, he may be SD, but I don't, I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'm going to rest. I feel like resting is the play to make. Because he may be able to 2-it KO me with two knockoffs. So he goes into Hydra. Um, so, your boy is sleeping. Uh, I'm going to go for the sleep talk right here. If he goes for the Draco, then that gives me a free turn to potentially fire off a Scald and kill his Absol. Goes for the Dark Pulse as long as he doesn't flinch me, I'm good. Uh, I end up getting a Scald. Does that burn? That does not burn. Um, he can potentially... No, he can't 3 it KO me unless he flinches me once, twice, once. Only once, yeah. Um, so if I get a CM right here, that'd be beautiful. Um, especially because it puts a lot of pressure on his remaining mons. I get a CM. Look at that. Wonderful game. Uh, I'm going straight away for the rest, though. Um, I'm not playing any games. I'm not messing around with this Hydreigon. Um, he Dark Pulses again. Even if I get flinched right here, it's okay. Because, um, you know, like that's doing 23. And I had like 23 remaining before lefties. Um, so I can just continue to do this whole crow nonsense and hopefully ride it to victory. That'd be super helpful. Um, kind of a misplay, I think, sacking his Vaporeon. Um, he should have definitely sacked Absol, um, but you know, I can just ride Sweet. Oh, Flinch, look at that, man. Well, <laughs> to, to be fair, I would much rather have had it right there than somewhere else um, along the line. He ends up just forfeiting, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and snatch up. Actually, is Dewblade really the best pick pickup for me? Like, it works great type-wise. Um, 
But I could add like Life Orb Hydreigon. Zero switch ins to fighting types. Which is an issue. So I think I'm gonna add Dewblade for now. Because we'll hit a Hydreigon before we hit a Dewblade. That's my logic right there. Um, we're, you, you campaign season one. Got him. Uh, Dewblade. We're going to. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna pause it real quick, cook up a nice set for Dewblade, and uh, we'll be right back, people. Game, actually. Um, I went ahead and added, like, Spadef Dewblade, uh, just because I think it's a really cool mod. <laughs> um,. And it walls a lot of stuff. We'll still be able to take on fighting types relatively well. So, um, what we're going to do here, uh, he is more than likely that as a lead. It sucks that I have Iron Head and not Gyro Ball. Um, can I just set up turn one and win? Like, being completely honest, can I just do that? I feel like it's very, it's very viable that I could do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lead Stormlax. We're going to try to get a couple of curses up because what we can do then is, uh, oh god, not what I wanted to see, um, zero switch ins. I'm going to go ahead and fire off a, a stock body slam, uh, see how much this can do. If we get a para, that's super helpful. Um, that did nothing. Oh my goodness. Snorlax, you monster. You savage. I'm going to get up a curse um, just because I can. <laughs> that, that's like the first reason. Second reason is because, like, what really on his team beats uh, Curse Lax? He could, I guess, go into one of his dragons right here, but I'll be at plus one defense. Goes into Shuckle. This, like, out of all mons, this was not what you should have gone into. I'm going to go straight away for the curse um, again, just because I can boost versus this from now to infinity. Is he contrary shell smash? Reveal. Acupressure. Two times attack. That's mildly scary. Um, except I can just continue to curse on you, so haha, -ha, jokes on you, man. If we actually get a full team of six by the end of this episode, I will be thoroughly impressed with myself. Um, the mon I will probably take from his team is, uh, probably this thing. Either this or P2, um, because P2 forms a super nice fat core, and all of a sudden you have fat balance, except you have two normal types. And that that's weak to fighting, so probably not. Probably gonna go men's, because um, men's can actually do a lot of different things. And I may change up sets as I see fit in between episodes. Oh man, he's he's gonna hit me with that with those accurate moves now. Um, but despite the fact, um, if I add men's, men's can do like scarf. It can do DD shenanigans. Um, it can. Like, be besides Scarf and DD, it can pull off, like, Spadef or Physically Defensive. It can Defog, it can Wish Pass. So, all these things are super nice for my team. It can also Heal Bell, which, you know, like, Mens gets a lot of cool moves when you really look at it. Um, but I think this guy's made a massive mistake, because unless he, he, like, crits me with Honchkrow now, I feel like this game is pretty much over. Because um, I have a plus six, plus six, minus six Norlax now. And... That, uh, that Mence is looking at me some type of way, man. I need that Mence in my life. Uh, he also hasn't gotten a defense raise yet, which could be mildly troubling considering I have like a thousand attack now and um, firing off like a decent base power move with a chance to paralyze, even though I won't be faster than him anyway. Um, he gets the accuracy buff, but that did 38%. Look at that, two for two on paras so far. So no, actually, you're a god. I uh, bet you still that speeds me though. Because, like, I'm insanely slow right now. Um, if I had my phone, I'd do, like, 96 times. Oh, God, I'm fast. Full para. Got him. J go ahead and act like that mattered. <laughs> um, I suppose I could run return if I really wanted to. But he's going to forfeit, too. So that's probably going to wrap this one up. Just because it'll get me, like, a full team of six. And gets me a lot to work with. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and add Salamence um, to... Where's the squad? There it is. Um, I'll go ahead and fill in the appropriate set for this as I see fit. But um, I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of Season 1 of UU Campaign. We managed to actually go 3-0 despite two forfeits. Um, but our initial core of Suicune, Snorlax, Chestnut was able to pull through. Picked up Crook and Dewblade. Dewblade didn't actually do anything. Uh, Crook did a little bit. But, you know, um, we, we'll see where this goes in the future. But anyway... Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy uh, the first episode of this series, and you guys are still enjoying it as much as I am. Um, also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Like, I understand my comment question of the videos are like, 
actually horrible. Like, um, Brandon and I have talked about this a little bit. Like, how they're just god awful. They're super stale. Um, but I, I could go like super generic. What are you guys doing this weekend? Um, but, but we're gonna go with something a little bit more contra- like, not really controversial, but like, what is your guys' opinion on manscaping? I don't know, my, like, my friend and I were talking about this earlier, but, opinion on manscaping, hit me up. Anyway, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content, and with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.